Are you constantly overwhelmed and unfulfilled in your role as a tech lead? I felt the same and I was able to change this with a simple change. When I first became a tech lead about 7 years ago, I finished every day frustrated and feeling that my entire day was wasted, that I was not able to add value to my team or to the stakeholders. My only accomplishment was putting out fires. I basically had two options. I quit being a tech lead, accepting that I was not fit for the role, or I faced the problem and overcome my challenge. I chose to face the problem head on. I did what I always do when I don't like my current situation. I turned into full research mode, reading books, watching videos, reading articles, and talking to other tech leads. I realized that I had two major issues. The first one was the hardest to identify. What I did was I print a spreadsheet that divided my day in 15 minute intervals. There is a link in the description. I fold this piece of paper and this tiny pen. I carried this with me everywhere and I recorded what I was doing. For example, I was in a meeting with my team, I was reviewing a pull request, I was having lunch, or dealing with an emergency, or I was wasting my time by watching a YouTube video about woodworking. Hey, don't judge me. At the end of the week, I review my schedule and created categories that then I can put into the one of the four quadrants of the Eisenhower matrix. Important, not important, urgent, not urgent. 60% of my time was allocated to important and urgent, meaning I was dealing with fires two thirds of my time. No wonder I hated my job. 20% I was dealing with urgent, but not important, like checking emails or Slack constantly. And this actually happened throughout the day, meaning I was context switching all day. Again, a waste of my time. 10% of my time I was doing not important, not urgent activities. In short, this was time I lost and I will never recover. Only 10% of my time I was working on important, not urgent activities. Working on this quadrant is the secret sauce and I will explain next what I actually do in this time to make the most out of it. Now that I have identified how I was spending my day, I was able to identify my second mistake, which was the one responsible for the feeling that I don't provide value to my team and left me drain of energy at the end of the day, because I was not able to point to a single meaningful contribution to my work. My proposal to you, because I believe this is something everyone should be able to do, no matter how busy you are, is the following. Create a meeting with yourself every day for 30 minutes. This could be at the start or at the end of the day. In my case, at 5.30 p.m., Every day is usually when the fires are out and I had no more meetings. But you know best how to find your time. Great, now you have 30 minutes for you. The first thing you need to do is close Slack and close your email because if they are open, you will get a notification that will kill this session. Now, the next step is optional, but I found that when I had this app on my iPad, it kills my temptation to get distracted. It's called Flora. And when you start the timer, you cannot go to other applications because you will kill a tree. Please, don't kill a tree. In order to trick my brain to enjoy these 30 minutes, I put on my headphones with Lofi Girl music. The next step is to define the goal of the session, which must be something in the quadrant 2, important but not urgent, that will prevent the fires next day. Now, get to it. No distractions, no excuses. Just 25 minutes of pure work. I assure you, you will feel a sense of accomplishment. And after a week of doing this, you will start to enjoy your work. Thanks to these changes, I end up enjoying my work as a tech lead, and I was able to help other people in the same situation. In this video, I explain how to deal with technical debt, which is the perfect example of a Quadrant 2 activity. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.